there. Today we will be reviewing a pen from a brand that I had not yet reviewed, and it's a brand that people mainly associate with markers, highlighters, etc. And that brand is Stettler. Now, the pen I'm going to talk about was sent to me by Andrew from cultpens.com, and the reason I specifically mention that is not just so that you know where I got it, but also that they have two more of these pens to give away, which means that if you order a Stedler product between October 1st and November 31st, 2014, you can win one of these pens. So if you like it, get a Stedler product and maybe you will win from cultpens.com. Okay, now, having said that, I got the pen, I'm going to cover the parts, I'm going to tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Um, let's start with the box. Simple box, but I, I, I have to say I kind of like the box. It has a that, that little Roman soldier uh, going on there, which, which I enjoy. Stettler Premium, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's nice imprinted in foil, and then it says Initium, the initium. Uh, and apart from that, it's just cardboard, simple design with this elastic band. You can pop it off, and then you open up the box. Now, the pen is in there. I'm just going to lift up this bit to show you what's under it, and then we'll return to the pen, because there is some documentation in here. Um, first of all, this is... Whoops, there's a little slip. I don't really have to show you. It's about leather. Some of the Stadler pens have uh, leather, uh, ins inscripted leather on them. But this one, as far as I can see, does not. And then you have worldwide warranty and the care instructions, as well as a little uh, booklet, which is actually fairly nice in color on the uh, Stettler Initium uh, series of pens. And as you can see, uh, I'm trying to find one. Some of them do indeed seem to have leather bits on them. But the one I have here, the Resina, does not. And it looks like this. Okay, let's have a look at the parts of the pen. You have here at the finial, again, that stylized Roman, I guess this is Centurion, given the helmet. And I kind of like it. it. It looks like a very abstract shape until you really give it some more thought, which is quite nice. Okay, then you have the clip. Now, I can already say that this clip is not going to be for everyone. Some people will love it, some people will hate it. Um, that clip is very springy, which is something I really like in a clip. Okay, then you have this black resin cap, and it goes on into a somewhat tapered barrel with a chrome-colored end cap that matches the highlights on the cap. You unscrew the pen, and then what you see here on the center band, it says, Made in Germany. Oh, sorry. Made in Germany. And on the other side, it says Stedler. And you have these threads, you have a section, and then you have the nib, which again has that Roman head. Uh, one thing I very much like is that this pen comes in fine, medium, and broad, which is cool because many manufacturers these days only offer fine and medium. Unscrew the barrel of the pen. I put in a Parker converter, which fits very well. My, my standard Chinese converters did not fit in the pen, uh, but it does come with a cartridge. Uh, so there are undoubtedly other brands I can picture, uh, say, a uh, Faber-Castell uh, converter also fitting in this pen. All right, <clears throat> that's it. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Forgive me if I take a sip of water. I have a little throat ache today. So um, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, uh, I like the overall looks of the pen uh, when it comes to uh, not the cap, but the actual pen. I think this is a decent looker. Uh, the cap, I, I, I'm personally not convinced by the clip. I like the springiness, uh, but I'm, I'm not too sure about the design. That is not necessarily something, I'm trying to make it focus here, um, not necessarily something I really care that much for. Um, the pen does post securely, which is nice, and then it's a very decently sized pen, and even unposted, you can use it very easily. Um, I like the section. Oh, it's splattered ink all over my hand. Um, I like the section, but 
I'm I can already tell there's going to be people who don't like it because it's it's very chrome like so if your fingers sweat a lot uh, then it can get a little slippery I, I personally didn't really experience that but for some people that that might be an issue um, I personally like the nib I think it writes well and in the end that's what a pen is all about something that writes really nicely uh, not too wet not too dry a decently adjusted nib and that's very nice Another thing that concerns me a little bit is that it's a very plastic cap and there is no band around it, which I, I can see this cracking if it takes a little bit too much abuse. When I squeeze it, you can even see it alters the shape a little bit. So this would be a cap I would be careful about. And also the threads here are metal, uh, which means that if you screw and unscrew it a lot, it's possible that this cap loses its purchase a bit. I don't know if that will happen, but I did experience that with another pen that had this metal plastic combination. Alright, in all, I think it's a fascinating pen. It's very nice to see Stadler get into this market and move away from just the markers. Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty fascinating pen, and I think you need to see it in action. That's what we're going to do next, but first, let me take a couple of measurements. Capped. I have 5.39 inches, that's 137 millimeters. Uncapped, that takes off quite a bit. Whoops, I have 124.1, that's 4.88 millimeters. Section diameter at the narrowest point is 0.34, millim F, 0.34 inches, that's 8.8 .8 millimeters. And at the widest point, 10.3 or 0.40 inches. Um, Barrel diameter, I have 0.47 or 12.2 inches. Now, let's take the weight of the pen. Again, it's inked up with a converter in it, but that's relatively light. I get 30 grams precisely, uh, which makes it not super light, which for a plastic pen is nice, but the cap adds a lot of weight. If I were to measure just the pen, it actually comes down to 16 grams, so it's much, much lighter, a lot of plastic, and that's, of course, with a cap, when you post it, cap that heavy, it makes it rather top-heavy, although I didn't even find it terrible in this pen. All right, having said all of that, thanks a lot to Andrew from Cold Pens for sending me one. I do enjoy the pen a lot. Um, if you want one, as I said, go to Cold Pens, order your pen, uh, and see what happens. Good luck in entering the competition. Let's do a writing sample. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. All right, so here we go with the Stedler uh, Initium Resina. This is the broad, and the ink is... Hiro Shizuku Momiji and uh, the paper is a Clairefontaine notebook. Okay, let's do some standard writing. As you can see, the nib is quite well behaved, gives a decent, nice ink flow. and a pretty smooth writing experience. But what if we move up the speed a bit? No skipping, no skidding, nothing. Works very well, I like that. As to wetness, I found this to be a relatively wet nib, uh, which is quite nice. As to the broadness of the nib, it's definitely a size up from medium, so it's not the type of super skinny broad. They actually did a decent job there. I very much enjoy that. Now, it is a steel nib. It's not marketed as a flex nib, but as you can see, with some pressure, gentle pressure of course, 
you can definitely squeeze out a relatively nice amount of line variation I would say. I wouldn't call that semi-flex but it's definitely, it definitely has some spring. Now for those of you who like to turn the pen upside down, do reverse writing, you see it's a lot drier but you can definitely get away with a word or three I would say before it runs very dry and then it's definitely a lot finer. So, thanks a lot to Andrew at cultpens.com for sending me this pen. I enjoyed it. Um, and again, if you want to win one, order a Stettler product from uh, cultpens.com between October 1st and November 31st, 2014. And perhaps you will win one of these pens. Good luck. I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.